Guys, the chicken is here. We are back today. We got the Supercell sweatshirt on first time in a while. Uh, we're back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, yeah, it's been rough, man. It's been rough. So uh, it was one of those kind of frustrating days um, just in terms of keys because, um, yeah, I'll show you this. We got up to – we're very close to getting Kavon. We unlocked the Crying Ears. We'll talk more about that in a second. But uh, with our next chest, that puts us at – of course, 47 keys. We're just short of getting the good doctor. Uh, I do believe once we get him, things are going to open up a little bit because the problem I've been having has not been... Um, it's not our base. The base is fine. You know, some guys fizzle um, most of the time. I mean, look at this. Nobody's really fully clearing uh, the base in these hits. There, there was one guy there that got it. Um, he got it as well, I think. Yeah, just by time. Oh, man, that was close. Um, yeah, so a lot of the guys aren't really finishing it. So I think it just goes to show that um, going offensive at this point is, is more important than going defensive. Now, of course, shock launcher boom mines are going to be great. We saw that in yesterday's video. I kind of ate it after I said that uh, they weren't going to be as effective as Kavon. But I, 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 my plan still right now, what I'm really leaning towards is getting Kavon then it's a toss-up between artillery or boom mines and the shock launcher. I think what it's honestly going to come down to is how many keys I can get uh, right away. Like, if I can get um, artillery's 34, like, if I can get boom mines right away, maybe I'll do that. Maybe we'll get the prototype, actually. The doom can's going to be nice. So we're going to see. We're going to see. But right now, we don't have Kavon, and we don't have any of that other stuff just, just yet. So I'm going to show you how we've been using uh, crying ears. They're actually pretty strong, They're surprisingly, so they are worth... Um, upgrading a little bit and guys i gotta mention if you do find these videos helpful make sure you use the code chicken in the shop i do appreciate it uh we're getting the entries in for the giveaway in eight weeks from now we just did our last one uh the winners were just announced on the discord server make sure you join the discord server you don't have to join discord to be entered into the giveaway entered into the giveaway but to see who wins you, you got to be in there so i mean you you kind of got to join up the discord um but uh yeah yeah, so that's where we're at right now. And the Crioneers, the Crioneers. So they're helpful. I don't think they're overly amazing. But um, given, you know, the fact that it was so hard to progress even a little bit today, um, yeah, we were, we were thankful to have them. This wasn't a great attack. Let's show something else. Actually, that guy had, well, either way, let's show one that we actually fully cleared. Did we fully clear any of them? This guy, okay. So, yeah. A lot of the bases are pretty well the same at four engines. Um, I do like the deck layout. I think it's pretty cool. It's different. Um, but yeah, we're still still kind of doing more or less the same thing. We're using heavy Zookas, Iron Will. But um, we put in the boat of Cryoneers. Now, it's actually very important where you put the Cryoneers on the landing, depending on if they have shock launchers or not. So if they do have shock launchers, just line up your Cryoneer directly in line with the shock launcher. Um, and, and they should be able to clip it because once the Cryoneers can clip the uh, uh, the shock launcher, then that's really going to slow it down to the point where it, it almost um, negates you having to shock it constantly, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so th this is the idea. It's all about just managing your GBE, um, getting in good positions, and you know the Cryoneers are very helpful. You know they're going to slow down the machine guns. They're going to slow down uh, the shock launchers, like we said which is why they're most important. And uh, yeah, from there, we just got to be aggressive. Use our iron wheels at the start of the battle uh, when we have all these cannons and stuff, and then just kind of take it from there. All right, so let's get into a couple live hits here. Maybe we can get back to 18, but overall today, it's just been a loss because, you know, we're at one of those points um, where we're between effective tech being Kavon. Um, yeah, I honest, I haven't really seen Kavon a lot today. I haven't really seen much of the guy. This guy's got a microwaver. Interesting. All right, he's got a microwaver. He does not have boom mines. This guy might have Kavon. So let's see here. So we're going Iron Will, of course. Now, I did uh, swap out a boat of heavies for the crying ears. Um, so we're just going to let them go up here. Just something like that. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear these uh, these defenses right about up to these sniper towers. Then we're going to move over to the left, make sure we clean clear that engine, clear out the shock blaster, and then we can just make our way forward. Um, but yeah, you see how he's got all these cannons in the front. That's why we want to be using Iron Will. 
We, we just want to keep our heavies up, alive, and healthy. That's the biggest thing. Um, you know, and then from there, we can decide um, what we're going to we're gonna spend all our stuff on. So I'm going to go ahead and use one now. Just to keep uh, keep those heavies going. And then what are we going to do here, chicken? Let's take down some of this stuff. Take it down, take it down, take it down. Alright, now we're going to move over this way. I'm going to use another iron wheel just as we're moving. Just in case we get it pegged by a mortar or the machine gun locks onto the zookas or anything weird like that. So, okay, let's go with a... Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> Oh, we just lost half our Zookas on that one mortar show. Yeah, so we're going to lose this one now. There's no way we can come back from that. Uh, but we'll try our best. We'll try to at least get, you know, we're at least going to get one engine. We'll try to get two. So what I'm going to do after they clear here, as we walk around the wall, I'm actually just going to flare the machine gun because that's going to keep them off hugging the wall and keep my Zookas from, um, keep the Zookas from just kind of, uh, hugging the wall and, and getting into a bad position which they might do now I guess but I think we're okay All right, we're close to another iron wheel we need to use that that guy cleared us very quickly uh, I'm I'm thinking he has Kavan at this point um, but yeah this is the idea I've never gone against the microwave yet so this is gonna be interesting let's see what's gonna happen uh, yeah if we didn't lose those Zookas we would have been going much much faster let's shock here this is how most of the attacks have been going today. With brick, it's tough. Uh, you know, it's tough to get the uh, <clears throat> it's tough to get all the right defenses and engines down. But I mean, overall, we're looking somewhat okay here. I think we're still gonna fizzle out, but yeah, those machine guns are gonna tear us apart. So it doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and flare up here. We're gonna die anyways. And uh, there it is. Nice, nice, nice. So. I really want to see how he hit us, because uh, based on the time, I'm smelling a Kavon hit. No, okay, we went with Everspark. <sighs> yeah. Everspark is the hero that you want to pick if you didn't take Brick early and take advantage of those easy wins right off the start. It's hard to pass up. It's hard to say, because, I mean, you know, it's one of those things. Do you want to win right now and get into gold and, you know, potentially put yourself in a better position to get into diamond later on? Or... You know, do you save and do you hold off and do you kind of maintain your rank and, and go for uh, what's going to be the better upgrade to get by? But, uh, yeah, we talked more about that yesterday. Let's try one more. Let's try one more. Let's try to bring it home here, guys. But, yeah, it's not a great time to be pushing. Not a great time. This is an interesting base. Uh, does he have shock launchers? This guy doesn't have shock launchers. I'm actually going to swap out the cryos. Actually, no, let's keep him in. I think, I think the hits are better with the cryo. So let's go one, two, three, four. One right up the gut. One, two, three. Brick. And I'm going to do a nice early iron wheel here right after the first set of mortars go off because I know those are not going to touch any of the Zookas. Based on our luck from the last battle, I would rather overuse iron wheel and not have it late than underuse it and lose all our troops. But yeah, I mean... When it comes to using it, you know, we want to kind of run out of iron wheels by the time we get up. I don't know what that was. Um, by the time we get up to around here. So, let's see if that pays off for us. <clears throat> the crowds aren't doing much so far. Not much, but... Um, they're slowing down some of the single target stuff, which is great. Now, let's move up this way. Now that we're coming into some mine territory, we're going to use that iron will up. As long as the boom cannon does not target brick, that's fine. I don't care. It can shoot there and, and pluck off a couple zookas. That's not the end of the world. Um, we got a bunch of heavies left. They're not dead. They're just stuck in a shock mine. So we're going to keep moving up and forward. We do have to be careful that the zookas don't hit too many mines as they're doing that. That's kind of the problem on these bases is, you know, as you move forward and hit shock mines, your zookas just tend to kind of run in front of everything. Um, so we want to avoid that. The Kriners are also great. They will absorb a little bit of, of uh, splash damage, which is nice. But it looks like we're okay here. And I think that's really all in, in all in part, all in effect of the uh, of the Kriners. Where do we want to shock? Let's go right about here. Hit those machine guns. Now we're just kind of up to the mercy of the base. And ah, man, it's tough to beat. Uh, it's tough to beat Spark on time. Okay, let's go like that and like that. Doesn't really matter. 
But uh, that's the best we can do. That's the best we can do for right now with what we've got. I can't go any faster than that, that's for sure. Ah, we lost someone named Jay Pizzle. Man. But it is what it is. I, I'm honestly not going to play until I can get Gabon. So I'm, I'm going to wait um, until later. I guess later tonight when I get him. But um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that's going to be a good push point. Hopefully that's going to be able to propel us forward and get another rank chest. But uh, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope that helps you out a little bit. Um, yeah. And uh, make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.